Welcome back to Ice and Fall Wells 2021 group stage. Fnatic pick up their first win here against RNG and Niski. It was a necessary one, a long-awaited one also. Tell me about this game. It was it was intense watching from a viewer's perspective, but I don't even know how it was for you guys. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was just really intense because I felt like both teams were just looking for, like, inters, kind of. Um, I feel like we just played as a five and we took good fights together and that's how we kind of won the game. So, yeah, I'm happy. We saw some, it was a bloody game uh, all over the map and it was to be expected, especially knowing you guys and knowing how RNG plays. Trading, top pressure for bad pressure, kills for kills. Uh, this game was so back and forth. How did you keep tracks on, on what was happening to get the win in the end and stay focused also? Mm, I mean, we kind of knew what our team comp wanted to do this game. And I felt like even though they focused Adam a lot this game, like he died so many times, I think. He got dove, he lost a lot of waves. We knew that if me, Viego and Baldwin were like doing really good into the game, then we would really carry fights because our champs are just better, in my opinion. And uh, yeah, I think for me personally, I knew that I could kind of out farm LeBlanc in a way where I would get stronger than him just by farming. And that's what I tried to do the whole game. And uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. <laughs> and we clearly see that things are slowly going better for Fnatic week after game. And sorry for mentioning this next game, but we saw how heartbroken you were after the last game of the first round, Robin. So tell me about the improvements for Fnatic, but also keeping your hopes up to come back stronger today. Um, I mean, for hopes, I think it's just no one wants to go back with like regrets. So everyone gives their all, kind of. And if we don't make it out, then it's fine. We tried our best. And with all the circumstances and this, I guess, this world is just weird for me, at least. I feel like two years ago when I came with uh, C9, it was, everything was normal. And this world, it's like roster change at the end and all that kind of stuff kind of got into my head. That's why I was like really emotional on the third day against PSG, because I knew that game should have been a one, a win. But I just felt really, really bad that we lost. And uh, yeah, for coming back stronger, I think we just actually know that we can beat them all and we just have some confidence back. Also, if you can see, we just play as a team rather than individuals and try to make some odd plays. And I think that's been going well for us. So. Would you say that you finally found your footing with this team, uh, with the circumstances that you had? And how do you look forward to the rest of the day? Uh, I think we have a good game plan and we know actually how to play the game uh, a bit better than what we did in the past as, a f as this five. Um, I think Bean has been doing a better job at like following us and kind of integrating himself to the team. So yeah, I think we've got kind of the recipe and uh, hopefully we, we win two more and we see what happens after. We'll see how the days go, but that's nice to see you smiling at least. Thank you so much for this thank interview. You. Congrats on winning against RNG. And Dash, back to you at the desk.